Hey everyone, welcome back to I Totally Love It. My name is Susan, and in this video, I am going to make a topper for my Junk Journal July. Uh, it took me almost all the way through to figure out what I wanted to do, and then we'll do a little flip through. Um, so, I took some of the paper I had left over from papers I've used, and uh, this was actually almost, I had to trim a little bit because it wasn't straight, but almost the right size here. So we'll just use that. And then this is a page from Peter Pan, chapter eight. It's called The Mermaid's Lagoon. So I think I'm gonna tear that out and then, but use this maybe in the background. I don't know, we'll figure it out. I still have quite a few scrappy bits too to use. Um, so we'll get a little topper made here. Um, and then I'll come back and um, we'll do a little flip through together. All right, so sit tight, here we go. camera cut off. I guess it exhausted itself. Anyway, so I finished that up, glued it on, and I got another little piece of paper. But this was Junk Trail in July 2023. I like how that turned out. All right, let's take a little walk through the days. All right, so um, the beginning, you know, I made the journal. And I did use these pockets for a while, and it just got really full of stuff. And so I Put everything in the little box and in a big 12 by 12 plastic holder. Um, so this just held the prompts. And then uh, so day one was good vibes. Two was pop of color. Then we had negative space, tickets and tags. Oh, that's right. I was like, where's day five? Uh, day five, I was doing, it was fold out. Uh, so I had to put it here. <clears throat> day six was layers on layers. Uh, I feel like I could have put more layers on that. 
Uh, I maybe done some here, but this was like a, a real journal that I was going to actually journal in. That would be writing space. Day seven was framed. Day eight was brown paper. So that was all my sand at the bottom of the sea. Nine was balance. So that was like symmetry with my turtle here. Uh, Ten was stripped back. So I just made it a real simple page. Eleven, paper samples. Twelve was gratitude. Thirteen was details. Um, so I made a little journal card, but I made this belly band. Day 14 was torn. So lots of torn paper. Fifteen was tucked away. A little seahorse card. Sixteen, maximalism. Which would have been a great idea, too, if you were doing a paper sample page. Seventeen was pause. So I put a quote there from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Day 18 was favorite supply, which is paper. <clears throat> 19. Is that right? That's a good one. Yeah. 19 was interactive. So I made this uh, envelope uh, pocket, kind of like a side tuck pocket. And that had like a <clears throat> pocket with two pockets. <laughs> um, or I guess like a journal card with two pockets. And of course, there was two tags in there. All right, so that was interactive. 20 was a letter to myself, and I did write inside that. It's just a little trifold with a little tuck spot there to hold it. <clears throat> 21 was contrast. I feel like I could have done better on that, but since I was going with this color scheme, I kind of worked myself into a hole with that. <clears throat> Excuse me. 22 is pockets. So I made a bunch of pockets. I think that's good. That one. And I decorated these guest checks with all the, I know it's, you know, they're all squid or octopus, but, you know, release the Kraken. <clears throat> All right, then day 23 was overlap, and uh, I have little tags in there. And um, sometimes you have an idea, and it's kind of what I wanted, but once again, worked myself into a little hole with the, with the idea of the color scheme. And then day 24 was very vintage, so it gave me an opportunity to go a little bit outside of this color scheme. Um, and then 25 was photograph. 26 was cozy. 27 was postcard. 28 was upcycled. 29 was playlist. 30 was in the garden. And 31 was nostalgia. And um, I like how it turned out. Uh, what day was your favorite, uh, whether it's in my journal or your own? Which one did you enjoy doing? Uh, all right, I'm going to get some, maybe some seam binding to close this. So hang tight, let me go grab. All right, I have this uh, pink, it's called frosting. Uh, the shade is frosting from my scrap cabin. No, yeah, my scrap cabin shop on Etsy. Uh, she has so many different shades. So I think what I'm going to do is find the end of it here somewhere. I thought, well, this doesn't have a lot of pink, and I like some pink on this. There it is. <clears throat> oh, you know, it's like pulling yarn. There we go. Now, how do we want to do this? I'm gonna go this. And tie it. But I want it to be kind of not too tight. I want it to be kind of scrunchy. Okay, that's scissors.
All right, you guys, there you have it. The Mermaid's Lagoon, Junk Journal July 2023, is officially finished. Um, will I do January or will I do next July? I don't know. I, after doing both this year for the first time ever, I will say I will start looking at the prompt list <laughs> before I start and make a decision. Um, not that the prompts were bad, but it was really hard to keep it going with this color theme. All right, guys, uh, I appreciate you and your time. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. If you've watched all my Junk Journal July or 100 Day Project videos, thank you so much. Um, so come back. I've got projects I'm working on and uh, get some journals made. All right, until the next one, everyone. Bye-bye.